Hello, in this Kotlin programming video, I am going to cover the hash map collection. And the hash map collection is built on top of the mutable map interface, which means you know you can add value, you can you know get and retrieve. I mean, you can retrieve values and you can also set values as well beyond the actual initial creation of the hash map. It stores the data in the form of key value pairs. The implementation of the hash map class doesn't actually make any guarantees about the order of the data, you know, in terms of the key value and the entries of the collection. So if you want the order to stay, you know, to remain constant, especially if you're looping over it using some sort of iterator or, you know, for loop, hash map probably isn't for you. But if you don't, then, you know, hash map is a great alternative to some of the other collections. As usual, experiment, find which one works for you, and then obviously use that one. So if I create a variable, I'm going to call it hmap, short for hash map. And so let's just create one with a key value pair of integer and string, integer being the key, strings being the values. So I'll put colon, hash map, and the first thing is the key data type. So I'm going to put int, comma, string. And now this equals a hash map. Let's see to call it int comma string. And I really want that on the same line because it's just a little bit. There we go. So this is what we would have as an empty hash map, and then we can add values after. We can do hmap dot put. So this adds something. At a particular index, so if I put one for example, put comma, and I put the word maybe I'll use superhero name, so Batman, and I'll have a total of five. So let's say two, three, four, five. Obviously, these don't, these don't have to you know go up like this two, three, four, five. They could be this could be 20, and then this could be 15. It's totally up to you. And I'm going to put Yoda. Some people will, will disagree that Yoda is not a superhero, but I think well, he's a good guy. He has superpowers essentially, which is what the force is. He's a superhero. Uh, this is Superman. Not by Aquaman. The movie was very good. It's looking like it's going to gross over a billion dollars, which is great for DC. And another one. I'll put. Freedom Yat. If you are unaware of this character, it is essentially a Kryptonite, no, a Daxamite, which is the well, the cousin race of Superman Kryptonians, and they and he's, he's basically a Green Lantern as well. So it's like Superman with a lantern ring. So let's just say pretty powerful. And I'll print it out now. So I'll just quickly loop over it. So if I do four. So there's a few ways that we can print it out. So first of all, we can actually just get an individual value. So for the print line, print line, and if I just do hmap, and I put square brackets, and if I put the actual key itself, so free, it will print out Superman. So for now, I'm just gonna comment this line out. Those curly braces won't do anything because there's nothing there. We get Superman printed out. If we want to, you know, loop over all of it, we can do for key in hmap dot key. So we're just getting all the keys at the moment, and this allows us to do some really cool stuff with this. So we can either use a dot get method, or we can use a square bracket and put the key in there. I use a dot get method just so I can show you the. You know the, the different implementations and therefore you can choose which way you want to go save that and if i run it now there we go ah, i'm not even printing the edge i'm literally just retrieving them but not doing anything with it so let's rerun it so we get all of the value printed so we get batman yoda superman aquaman and soldum yet you can also create a hash map so var hey i'll call it hmap2 with an initial for size 
So I'll actually copy this. So of course H minus two. And if at the end here, you know, we have the brackets, if we put let's say two, for example, this means it, it has a capacity of two. So now let me It doesn't mean this capacity is fixed, it just means the initial capacity is set. You might be thinking, why would you want to do that? The reason is, if you know that you're going to have, let's say, a minimum of two items in there, you set the initial capacity to two, that way it's reserved the memory, and you won't have any unforeseen circumstances, maybe if you're short on memory on that system but you could add more data later so that's like the use case and i'm going to leave this up to you to add data to it it's literally just the same as this just the name of the hash map dot put the actual index or the key name which is in this case an integer and then the string value or whatever data type you've chosen so you can also do stuff like dot remove as well so if you if you want to remove values, you can remove them by well, you can either replace a value, you can go down that route. So if I do actually, you know what? I think I've shown you quite a bit in this video because removing and putting values are essentially you know very similar. You use a dot replace method, it allows you to replace a particular you know value at a certain index you can use methods called contains key and contains value which allows you to check if it contains a particular key or a particular value you can use dot clear which just empties out the actual hash map itself but if you understand everything that we've done in this video you're all good to go but what i'm going to do i'm going to sort you out i'm going to provide you with a link that shows you all of the hash map features so I'd recommend that you go through them. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. I really highly recommend it. You know, reach out, I'll assist you. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.